If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to get the latest updates. Okay, so Tushar, um, I wanted to go over a couple things because based on our knowledge, I have come up with something, um, but I don't know if I'm proceeding in the right direction. I faced some pickups here and there, so I wanted to run all those things by you first. Okay. okay. So what I have done is, first of all, um, let me try to share my screen. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Uh, I'm just going to bring this document in a second. The screen is not working. So I prepared a document of, um, you know, from the, uh, from this, um, where is that? No, not that. Um, one second. Yeah. So from this, uh, what I did, I went, I, I just took one example of this web service staffing and I went uh -huh. through all the calls. Okay. Uh, okay. What I'm trying to understand is from this web service, what is the data I can pull and I can push back into Workday? Okay. And what is relevant? So based on that, I created this document um, for staffing, um, like for example, applicants. Okay, uh -huh. I have a get applicant. I have a put applicant. I, I don't know what is the difference between a put call and an input call. I'll tell you. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. So the okay. basic difference is, uh, so see, import. I'll just as uh, you have must have seen that. You are also you are also looking at somewhere submit payroll input and import payroll input. Okay, two web service with Actually, the same function. Little, uh, can you increase your volume on one side? I'm on hundred percent. Can you increase volume on your side? Okay, can you hear me now? Uh, yeah. Still, still, uh, can you hear me? Sorry. Uh, am I audible now? You're audible, but volume is still low. Uh, let me just give me a minute. Let me. Okay, volume is hundred percent on my side also. Okay. Okay, uh, one second. Huh? Yeah. Ma, ma, kuncha volume kabi pani chole na kya seriya kya kama tingu? Ada na idu radio kiri ada na audio intro Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I've asked for background noise to be low here. <laughs> okay, okay. So the thing is that uh, you must be seeing somewhere uh, like uh, submit. I'm just giving an example that you must be seeing that submit payroll input uh, and import payroll input. So uh, similarly, like you have uh, put applicants, import applicant. Now, what is the difference between these web services is a basic difference. They do the same kind of work. Okay. Mm. The means it, it loads the same kind of data. If you see the web service, uh, if you will see the web service uh, structure body also, what kind of data they send. It must be similar, not exactly same, but same what what task they are doing. The difference mm -hmm. is, yeah, the difference is based on the, uh, uh, how they operate, okay? So in case of submit or in case of put, okay? Mm -hmm. Whenever we are trying to load the data, the mm -hmm. low uh, the request and response go one uh, one by one as in one by one when i say that like you submit a request you get a response okay mm -hmm. in case of mm -hmm. submit submit a request is similarly in case of uh, uh, put you submit a request to get a response mm -hmm. import act in a little different way in which mm -hmm. import give you a functionality that you can aggregate a response mm -hmm. make a batch mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and then load the response oh, sorry lo aggregate the request load Aggregate, uh, aggregate, uh, create a uh, request with aggregated request and mm. then load. Example, let's say I am using a submit payroll input. Okay. Mm. 
Mm. Let's say if I'm if my uh, if I have to load ten payroll inputs, I will use a summit payroll input in mm. which uh, the summit payroll input web service will be called ten times. E mm. one for each row. Mm. Okay. Let's mm. take a situation where the company where the file ha- is having one lakh rows. Okay. Mm. If I'm trying to call my summit payroll input one lakh times, mm. it will be a disaster for my uh, studio also Draw because it. one lakh times the web service will be called. So what I do, mm. I would create an aggregated one means multiple payroll sum payroll input request inside us inside one web service that is and uh, like multiple payroll input enclosed inside import payroll inputs okay Got then five payroll inputs so Got that's it. more often so yeah that's a work that that okay okay uh, you may not find it for every web service so, so in the import um uh-huh. in the import right uh, okay. i can give multiple uh, workers or multiple people right correct correct okay that's what so for example if i say import applicant right and if you click on the request if you click on this request um i'll just i'll just yeah your import applicant request okay yeah if i'll just yeah if i'll click on this request ah uh-huh. so you will see your applicant right Right. So this is one section of an applicant. Okay. Ah. Similar, I can pass multiple applicants. Okay. Like okay. One... Got it. Got it. You have to. You can just put multiple uh, applicants here, yeah. and then right. Yeah. So that way, it it can load multiple data. Like it will. It can load data in a batch. Okay. Uh, hmm. There can be a question coming from your side that let's say if I am loading hundred applicants for an example, and fifty hmm. fifth applicant is a failure. Okay. Hmm. how do i receive okay now coming to what would be the response of this uh, web service okay hmm. uh, if submit payroll input is just a whatever request you give it will either be a success or a, uh, a success or a failure response in hmm. case of import you see there hmm. is only one response okay you will just get a string response basically you just get a workday id hmm. in a response hmm. and even if you are loading 50 or 100 or let's say 200 rows you will just get a single workday id in a response okay now mm-hmm. the question might come that uh, a single workday id how will i know that whether all the rows has been processed successfully mm-hmm. or not mm-hmm. later you have to again pass this workday id to another web service mm-hmm. that is known as import process messages in which you have to pass this workday id mm-hmm. and that web service will actually uh, decode or i will say uh, it will expand this workday id inside basically inside this workday id all the rows are there all the status mm. of the are there mm. and that that web service will actually go through each row by row and from there you can capture okay this row has success this row is error basically so this is for, the id that it receives and this based on this id i have to query some other web service yeah there is one, one more web service known as import process messages one minute i'll just find that import pro- is that part of that itself yeah you can just search uh, if you will just go back yeah control f now import yeah process messages it's not coming maybe it's part of a different one no no it will be there somewhere import process hold down Oh, it it is not part of a staffing. Basically, you are inside staffing one. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not part of staffing. Ah. Uh, um. You can click on there. Yeah, exactly. Yes. uh i have given you okay okay it will be inside integration but i i have one more link which will help you just a minute so we go there i'll tell you which section it is inside just give me a minute okay no exactly. problem okay so whatever is coming in that xml uh-huh. um uh i mean the, uh, where is the response again you said okay uh, sorry the just come here let me come back to you okay let's say this is the this is the request you have passed okay mm-hmm. and in in uh, what you get in output is a response which is a single workday id i don't know where is that now 
this hmm. is that web service okay hmm. Hmm. this is that web service i was talking about get import process request in which you have to pass a vid or workday id Mm. now this vid is nothing but the response that you have received from an import web service i'm not talking about import payroll input i'm not talking about import applicant i'm talking about any import web service mm. which is giving a response now that response every time you will receive just a single workday id and that single mm. workday id has to be passed here in mm. order to uh, decrypt what's there inside. basically this workday id has all the success and errors hidden behind this got it hence we use that so i can use this uh, to decode uh, any response import any response. import import web service that's why it is get import process message required right okay. import web service. yeah and the id uh, i mean the id is the response uh, id we got from that import call yeah it's an aggregated yeah id yes a workday id got it okay uh okay so now that fine where was i okay so that was the question between import and this so i think ideally if i'm looking at a backup and a restore kind of thing right uh, uh, i should be looking at an import call see i am saying import is generally used in inbound integration where you have to load a lot uh, a data where you have to load data which is uh, basically when you have to lower, load a high in, uh, volume of data inside correct, workday correct. understood that, like for example yeah. if i'm backing up applicants right mm -hmm. i should be using import because there will be too many applicants or workers or whatever right? when you are, for example when you these say, job family job family group okay maybe. when you're backing up then i think you are saying that you are extracting data yeah. from work right yeah so in that case you will use get yeah get is fine but i'm saying putting it back putting it back yes import or put yeah yeah so when there is volume i'll use import when like for example this job family group and all those things rules and all those things they don't have import so i'm guessing that's only put yeah basically that's what i said every workday has not provided for everyone an import so you may it for someone and you may not find it for someone okay okay got it now i want to understand this one you see here get eligible staffing eligibility rules okay first yeah. of all i didn't know how to map the front end and the um uh, you know the apis so uh, okay can i share my screen i can show you something yeah. so when you say that uh, okay now see this is an api in front of me now when, let me know whenever you see my screen okay? yeah i can see it so this is what there is a list now this list of web services total web services or oh, it's belonging to every other section okay human resources integration all the web oh, where, services. Uh, sorry sorry where did you get this from okay i had this already this is the link that you have to go for okay i can give, I give it to you right yeah, can now you, can you give that to me i'll copy i have actually i cannot send it to you because i don't see how to send it to you here okay hold on yeah i'll just off for uh, remote remote control okay yeah yeah sure, go ahead okay just a minute so what is the difference between that the page that i showed you and this one this one seems to show yeah, go inside each of the section staffing then human resources oh ho, ho, okay okay got it got it here i have every other thing just in one yeah. okay oh, got it one second huh? Uh, not copy. Can you try to paste it here? If you don't mind. Uh, paste it where? In the in you see the questions dot. Oh, acha, you don't see it. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. My mistake. <laughs> okay, leave it. Um, I'll figure that out later. Okay. I'll send it to you. Don't worry. I'll send it to you via mail also. That's okay. That's got it. it. Okay. Yeah, so okay. now that, I want to that, see how to map the front end and the API. I'm struggling there. So every time the API would write what it is doing or what it is trying to get. Okay, if I'm trying so to... So that is fine, but if I go to the front end, can you go into Workday for me? Uh, okay, I don't have a tenant open, but I'll do one thing with it. Or I, can, I have Workday tenant, I can open it too. Okay.
like I went into workers, okay, and I was trying to see how to map the worker information to the front end. Oh, what is that? Okay, now you are inside TMS. Like, uh, first of all, if I do worker here, I couldn't find anything that came. So I had to type Logan McNeil to get it. Yeah, yeah, you cannot. Okay, the thing is, uh, like, you cannot find like this in Workday if you just type worker. Yeah, so Workday is like, so it's Workday is not driven by like, if you just find, now if you want to find Logan, okay, I'm just giving an example. You have to write something like this worker. <laughs> Okay. Similarly, if I'm talking about John, I'm just giving but an I example. I want to see all the workers. Uh, you don't have that. You have to create a report for that. Got it. You have to create a report for that. Okay, fine. Okay. Yeah. So now, okay, let me go into Logan McNeil. And mm -hmm. you see here summary, job, contact, personal, blah, blah. And inside summary, inside the job, multiple tabs are there, right? Mm -hmm. How do I map all these things to the get employee, I mean, the get workers call? Yeah, you cannot. The reason is, I'll tell you what. The thing is, uh, when I'm saying about organizations, okay? Mm -hmm. all, uh, okay, let's go on the web, uh, get worker web service. We'll understand more clearly then. Mm -hmm. So... Employee are the same. Sorry. Oh, it's also under human resources, get worker. Yeah, I thought it was only staffing. Under, yeah, it's both under staffing and human resources. Oh. Okay, now when I'm saying the only things that you can get in web, get workers are the sections here, okay? Whatever the response is there. Like if you see whatever the response is, now this is the response. Whatever is there in the response and whatever sections that we are referring here, that's mm -hmm. the only thing that you can get. Now, if you want the exact tabular format of data or exact sequential data that is exactly there here, Mm -hmm. It may not be possible. I'm understanding your question. Like if I'm uh, correctly there, so I'm understanding that. Where is that? Uh, what do you need? You need the work day? Ah, uh, yeah, I need work day. Yeah. I think it's under this thing. No, 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 no. It's under first tab here. Here, this one. Okay. Now, if I'm just understanding your question, like if you want, you you are just saying that okay, job detail is a page. Let's say that this is a page that I'm looking at. And let's say I want to grab every information on this page. How do I do that? Similar yeah. organization page. If I want to grab every information from this page, how do I do that? That's yeah. the question. Okay. Um, through web service, page uh, page wise data extraction, you may get some information, not all the information. For an example, you may get details of these in Get Worker Web Service also. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it will not be a sequential detail. Like you will definitely get in GetWorker the contact details. You will definitely mm. get the work details. Even mm. the job details. Okay. Mm. All these details you get inside GetWorkers. Now, pages wise, you may not get. Okay. It may be in a form of response. Mm. Similar to organizations when I'm talking about. Mm. In GetWork, you may not get a very clear view which you may get from a Get organizations. Basically, if you will get from Get Worker, okay, when in Get Worker in the response, you will actually find that uh, the organizational data would have would have all the uh, would have have the all all the organization mentioned One to second. which the yeah yeah you go ahead I I just want to show you yeah okay yeah yeah trigger it I'll just hold, uh, tell you so mm -hmm. let's say yeah correct uh, if you have a response over here no that was a Get actually I I wanted to show you Get Workers also. Uh, mm. Mm, mm, I think I had oh, text. This is this is get worker. No. no, not that one. No, one second, I had that response also stored. Yeah, this one, right? Okay, so this is the response, right? See, it gives me so much. And see, for example, this WID, right? Sometimes it's common. 
sometimes it's not common so i'm so confused this okay. w id w id is okay what, what basically there is a country that is assigned to a worker right now this ah. is the same that i'm talking about that country is a similar entity across meaning what okay meaning what when i'm saying name okay name ah. name i'm just talking about legal name okay and ah. there is a country reference attached to it and us is what is the name attached to the worker it will always us in itself is an object inside work day country the oh. country is an object you country when you will see as a task you will say usa and usa would have a work day id which if it is tagged to any of the worker it will have the same work day id okay so it is okay. similar entity that is attached to every other section similarly here also you have attached the same thing that is us okay mm. now coming back to your question is pages wise data exactly may not be a uh, may not be a possibility but you may get mm-hmm. data in not sections but bricks and pe- bricks mm-hmm. and pieces like personal information you may are getting okay like mm-hmm. and personal, mm-hmm. similarly if i i was just on the organization page right i was let's say i was on this page mm-hmm. specific page i'm talking about mm-hmm. where do i have uh, information over here okay so if i just scroll down as scroll down as scroll down this is contact Did search data. for it it's too much actually it's a, it's a very very big no problem there there won't be much uh, of a things this is the email data this is employment data okay mm-hmm. no we we can go it will be quick only similarly somewhere there will be also this is payroll interface data payroll management worker job data compensation data salary data bonus data merit plan there should be organization data also somewhere uh, organization own. role data organization role data i don't think so that would be the one this is the one you're talking about right uh yeah basically organization role data means in what organization this worker has a role so if i am talking here so he is let's say i'm just talking about role means this one i'm talking about this role okay he is mm-hmm. cost center manager for one of the organization cost center for a supervisor organization he is a manager that's what is captured on under cost center mm-hmm. role data sorry organization role data mm-hmm. that's what captured what all roles he has in under different organizations mm-hmm. okay that may be captured inside role data similarly mm-hmm. we have uh, this is organization role data we need to scroll now role data is finished uh, i guess no they going this worker has too many roles role data is still going organization role okay still there is an organization role okay wait god so many roles yes i don't know which worker is this who is this worker that that first guy logan okay okay logan okay logan logan is a super user kind of a person for work day so she must be having every role in every other thing ah so 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 god okay benefit enrollment data competency this is what okay so let's go to yeah request let's 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 find we yeah, let's go to let's go to response somewhere mm-hmm. so you'll definitely get an organization data that's not an issue position mm-hmm. organization you see the position organization data you will definitely get all the organization now if you are looking at here you are getting all the organization data 
I'm not talking about role data. I'm talking about organization data. So mm. everything that you are talking about, you will be getting inside here in the organization mm. reference. Mm. So, but if you ask me that how do I get pages wise data, it may 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 not be possible. Like okay? like the different sections would be there inside. Okay? Similarly, employment data would be position inside a position section. There will you can find these web things, these uh, services. I would say. When you say on the UI perspective, I want an exact match there over my in, on my system. Oh, sorry, on my uh, extraction, it may not be possible. It's job history or manager history. Okay, mm -hmm. most of the things that you will get in worker. Okay, most of the things, mm -hmm. most of the things that you may get from get workers. The things you may not get got get from get workers. Mm -hmm. You have to dig down more. Like for an example, payroll input, payroll results or payroll inputs. You may not get exactly from get workers. So from there, you have to actually. Uh, look out for other web services. Okay, so mm. that will you get some payroll input. You it will give you all the payroll inputs that is uh, there for this worker. Get mm. payroll results. There are other payroll result web services which will give you all the payroll result data for this worker. Mm. Similarly, if you want to extract benefit information, you may not get. You may get a what is tagged to worker. Definitely, you will benefit information that is tagged to your worker. But all other benefit plans that is there in workday, if you want to extract, you may not get that. Hmm. But from get worker, you will get majority of the things that is for the worker. Like you are getting all this data, you are getting contact data, you are yeah. getting personal, data, you are getting compensation, you are getting benefits, you are getting even career, you are getting in which learnings and everything are there, competency learning and all those things are there. You are getting hmm. all kind of data that is there from get worker. Mm. It's just not page-wise data, I would say. Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, I wanted to ask. Um, um, wait. I had another question. Yeah. Okay. So coming back to my document. So what I am thinking is, see, these are all volume-based. Okay. Now, if you look at this, let staffing eligibility rules. There is something like that, right? Okay. What are those things? Are these are these data that I need to uh, where is the staffing? Where is get staffing eligibility? One second. What is the web service used for? I have not used this web service. Let me just check once. Okay. Get staffing eligibility rules. Okay. Next time. Get staffing. Where is that? Gets. I don't know what I did. Something. I'll tell you it. Uh, get staffing. I think it is. Show me the web service ones. Get global staffing. Global. Global. Yeah, it's inside uh, staffing. I have. To see. I'm getting looking at this web service now. Global staffing eligibility rules. Uh -oh. This task retains specified in the. Yeah. Now, what is this like when, when I. Uh... See, uh, by looking at the web service, what I can tell, okay? Mm. Now, by looking at this web service, what I can tell. Now, again, I mean, 100% not be right, but I will be what this. Uh, I will be at least 90, 90 to 95% accuracy what is this web service bringing. It is basically bringing the conditions which are there on the uh, business processes. Where can um, I see this in the front end? You may not see it in the front end. I'll show you how you will see it. I'll show you it. Give me the control and I'll show you where it is. These are basically conditional rules that are being actually formed by either functional folks or someone else. Just give me a minute. Yeah, I think this. You missed one zero, okay? That's fine. I'll, uh, I will just first see whether I can find conditional rules directly or not. So you see view conditional rule. Okay. I don't know whether that will come or not. Okay, now what is the name of this? Uh, conditional rule ID data. Location is mattered. Okay, location is mattered. Someone has created this conditional rule. 
okay mm-hmm. external rule is a rule where now where they have attached this rule the question is where they have attached this rule so, created from global staffing eligibility used in collective agreement now they are using this rule somewhere inside this collective agreement this is very functional basically very very functional that what is this exactly okay so the question is i mean i'm not interested in finding out uh, what this is exactly but i was just wondering uh, how do i map i mean do i need this data or not you don't need this data that this data is basically um a validation setup on a working of something something like for an example if i'm hiring let's say if i'm hiring you okay uh, i have a setup of uh, hiring validation that you have to first complete your i9 something like that verification has to be done then background check has to be done so i have created a rule i have created a condition that this has to be there so hmm. it's just like a validation checklist that you are trying to extract here by this so it's a uh, validation checklist that has been prepared by the functional folks and mm-hmm. has been attached at different places in the tenants under some business processes or some so basically when the data is flowing through them it will pass through these checks okay so these are rules it's so not I, so you are saying i need it uh you need it if the okay so when you say data okay there is something uh-huh. else okay when you say i just need data okay there is that is a different question when you say i need data also and i need all the validation means all the logic so these rules are nothing but a, a company means it's it's a logic written inside them okay that you have to do this or you have to do that so you are trying to extract this logical rules now this rules are basically created by functional folks the functional folks decide okay this is how the structure of my company is this is how the data would flow for my company okay mm-hmm. now they have written some rules for that mm-hmm. for an example if i am just talking about general ledger okay mm-hmm. let's say i'm just talking about a general ledger now based upon uh, based upon what expense it is uh, the expense goes into some other account based upon what kind of expense it is the expense goes on some other account okay mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. it's a it's a logic or it's a condition written on what if let's say uh, you have taken a laptop it will go inside a electrical expense you have uh, le- taken a chair it will go inside an other expense account okay different accounts are mapped okay now mm. how that is possible because someone has written a rule okay then when this kind of expense come it has to go into under this account what mm. you are trying to do now is you are trying to extract those rules okay so mm. these are the logics that you are trying to extract not the data i am just saying this is not a exact data this is our logics Okay, okay so it's not the data but to validate the data you are saying these rules are needed yeah uh, what i was saying last okay so business logic basically okay when whenever you are extracting this condition these are nothing but business logics okay mm-hmm. these are not data but, but these business logic put to use during put and import and all is there a put available for this i don't think so uh there is the put i think one second is there uh, if it is there means if it is there then definitely we can uh, where is that other one how did i see the right most part this one uh how do i see the right panel with all the calls okay you just have to click here double click at the ws tester again it will minimize ah okay so here gets so it's put global something something right yeah correct there. so that is there so my question is do i need this data like i'm trying i mean i know i need workers data i need uh, student data and all of those things right like i need staffing i need applicants data but these job family job family group what are i mean these are all it looks like Uh, these are all the whatever you said that matter uh, the value no 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 the job family job family group is different okay uh, now what we were talking about earlier was a conditional state conditional rules okay mm. now mm. what is a job family so for this we have to understand the 
now if i make you understand now what is a job family or job family group i have to make you understand the basics of human capital management for work day okay so mm-hmm. I, i will just regardless of this i'll just make you understand something else let's say comp you have a compensation right so mm-hmm. inside a comp compensation falls inside a compensation grade okay so there will mm-hmm. be a compensation grade inside which there will be many different compensation and plans mm-hmm. okay again the compensation grade falls under compensation group okay so mm-hmm. it's it's more like uh, we are aggregating data job family when i'm saying okay so similar job families inside so there are different job families you can get inside mm-hmm. job family group there will be a similar job family group that is it is more of an aggregation of data that is work day mm-hmm. keeps it keeps inside it okay so when mm-hmm. i'm saying job family or job family group it is important now this data are important because this is stored inside work day. okay where can i see this data if you ask me so if you go to this employee again that is uh, logan and uh, i'll just go back i'll just show you that way it will be rather more clear so so if you see there is a job fam- okay the, if you see there is a job family right and mm. uh, show you one more thing that will be your job Okay. Job family is there. Now this job family would again be inside a job family group. So that I can find inside. Can I say view job family group on the top? Will it bring? Yeah, yeah, it will give you. Yeah. So if I just give, maybe yes, view job family group. I've never st- searched. But if I search job family, I, it is not. There is no a task for that. No. No, there is no task for that. Generally, we get it, but I'll show you again. Not, not so. Good. That's not an issue. Organization. Position is attached to. Position is attached to job profile. Job profile is attached to a job family. Okay, this is a job family, HR management, and HR management is a part of human resources, which is a job family group. Okay, it is more of an aggregation happening. If you see here, now I'll just go back from from your see. Now, mm-hmm. uh, the, let's say this is a job family, part of job family group, human resources. Okay, let's mm-hmm. talk about human. Now, if I just see human resources inside human resources, now this is a job family group. inside mm-hmm. human resources there are these many things okay mm-hmm. let's say if i go inside any one of them i'm just saying if i go inside hr payroll okay if mm-hmm. i open this inside this it will be a this is a part of a job family group inside this there there are many job profiles mm-hmm. so job profiles being a part of a job family job family being a part of a job family group okay it is mm-hmm. more of a three kind of a thing you know so it's more of a like one sets at the top then it divides under two then again it divides into four so payroll coordinator maps back to like if i if i just go to this logan's profile so mm-hmm. if i if you see this so she is of job family group hr management okay mm-hmm. hr management falls under human resources mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. her job profile might be a hr so what is her job profile so how do i see a job profile so this is a job this is a job family hr management okay mm. and mm. her job profile is which will be back behind vice president okay mm. Mm. now where do i find so the she is a vice president now inside the job family of hr management which is again a part of human resources okay mm. 
I may not be a part now. It, let's say if I'm taking some other employee, if I'm just taking this is Logan data, okay? Mm-hmm. This is Logan. I'll compare between two employees. I'll just first is Logan. Now if for Logan, you see that she's a vice president at a company, okay? And she mm-hmm. belongs to a family or your family um, <clears throat> job profile. She she first she is a vice president. And she belonged to a job family, HR management, which is again a part of a job family group, human resources. Okay. Mm. Now, mm. if I talk about Joy Banks, okay. Mm. Mm. Let's take an example of this person, Joy Banks. So, if I say Joy Banks, now Joy Banks is a chief human resource officer. Okay. Mm. Now, mm. chief human resource officer, it does not fall under this. See? Means job profile. If I see the job profile of this guy, this person, mm. Joy Banks, mm. job profile is chief chief human resource officer. Okay. Mm. Mm. Now, chief human resource officer is not inside this. So let's check under which job family group this person is. Mm. Say if I will open the position of again of this person, mm. and if I'll try to this this is the job profile, and uh, then I have to go for his. Just give me a minute. And job. Job. Hmm. His job family could be different. So it position. Be... Actually, yeah, that's what. Job profile. Where did I go there last time? Just a minute. For Logan, I was there. Inside position. Okay. So I have to go inside position for this person. Where is that person? I am inside position. Job profile, if I'll click, okay, yeah. If I'll click job profile, I will see a job profile of job family of HR management. Hmm. So it this also falls under, okay, this also falls under HR management only. Hmm. This also falls under HR management. So I will make you the the simple thing is it's it's basically follows a hierarchy structure okay job family job it is more of an organizational structure okay like in like if i'm just talking about a company like deloitte it has a positions like a senior co- consultant okay senior consultant may fall under a, a bracket of let's say consultants so and under consultants there are junior consultants and normal consultants under mm-hmm. architect there can be senior consultants and there can be uh, senior developers so these are like these are kind of job uh, structure description that is there for every other organization that's how we divided into job family job family group it is a, basically structuring the organization in different ways okay and when you yeah, i mean see uh, for me i'm uh, I, yeah i i understood uh, i'm not looking for like like work day knowledge knowledge but at the same time but, but you need this I now my, okay. no. but by the question is do you need this yes you need this the reason is uh, you should also you should you the wherever you are sending this data or wherever this data is being utilized i don't know where it will be utilized but mm. they would need all these uh, mapping to be there like which uh, position inside, which will be tagged because position would be tagged to job family job family group inside so this will be required got it so the question now is like i tried up uh put okay somehow the put didn't work for me uh let me see if i have somewhere anywhere or i can try it again get position ah what is this create position request is it no. okay okay i don't have it uh for example uh if i want to put something okay let me see if i want to put uh First of all, worker. How can I think I can't put a worker? I can only do an import worker, right? Put a worker when you are saying that uh, uh, creating yeah. a worker. Yes. Ah, creating a worker. So creating a worker is through uh, the web service is known as hire. Um, what? Hire employee. Uh, you will that get that hire employee. I'll just show you. E H. Yeah, this one. So higher employee is the same as the get uh, employee is the same as worker. Yeah, it will create a worker. For an example, okay. I'm, I want to hire you, right? Ah. 
uh. end of day. So this is what would be needed. I will be giving all the information for you. When will be your first start date? All the position tag to you. Anything like what? I'll tag you position. I'll tag you which organization you'll be. Okay. So you... one question is: Can I can we use the get worker call? Okay, yes. and yes. change uh, only a name in that the new guy. Yes, yes, you can create a worker. Okay, you can so get... <laughs> that's what I tried, but somehow I don't have that. I I didn't work for me. It it just kept saying something. So for example, this will... one. Ah, uh, the thing is, I will give you the what is this. This Which is what? get work. This is get this worker. Is get worker. Yeah, this is a get worker call. But uh, if you want to create a worker, or let's say if you want to hire a worker, I would rather say, then uh -huh. you have to use a hire employee request. Okay. Mm -hmm. Through mm -hmm. this, you can hire a contingent worker as a worker also and uh, and normal worker also, which is an employee ID. I would say. Okay. This contingent and, worker ID is employee ID. No, no. Con there are uh, different types of worker in workday. Um, contingent worker means contractors. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, employee IDs are full-time employees, FTEs. So mm -hmm. uh, now, if you, for an example, how do you assign this? You don't know, right? Like, if mm -hmm. I, let's say I'm creating for the first time, mm -hmm. I'm just. So, what employee ID I will assign? I don't have the control over this because this is defined in the tenant setup. That mm -hmm. uh, what would be the next employee ID? Okay. Mm -hmm. You can just uh, you can just delete this data, this this section. Mm -hmm. Okay. So automatically. Mm -hmm. Assign a new employee ID. Mm -hmm. So you have to create this now. If you want to get the request, exact request for this, I have a request with me. Uh, mm -hmm. Hire employee request. Okay. Mm -hmm. On so you can send it to you. You just have to fill in the data. A mm -hmm. proper uh, like oh, I have hired an employee, giving him all the required uh, compensation mm -hmm. package mm -hmm. attached, organization attached. Okay. Okay. I think you can send that to me. That will be helpful. So the yeah. same thing I can do uh, like import also, right? Import is not available for uh, hiring. Like you will not not find import hire employee IDs. No, I have import applicant, right? Oh, applicant is a different thing. Employee is a different thing. Oh. When I when I say applicant, when I say candidate, okay, mm -hmm. those are not workers, okay. Mm -hmm. I may be I may be applying for your company. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am a candidate or an, I am an applicant. Okay, I am not mm -hmm. an employee of your company. Okay, mm -hmm. so when mm -hmm. you say applicant, so these are the people who have applied for a position or let's say a job requisition is opened in a company in which there is some uh, uh, recruitment happening. Got those it. are the people who are those are applicants. Those okay. are not. Okay. All right. Uh, then I can use import hire employee. Ah, uh, there is an import. Yeah, I have not even never used it, but yeah, again, it will be the same thing. Uh, except it will just uh, hire multiple worker at multiple time. employees. Okay, so the the rule the idea for me now is like um uh, like I'm getting all the applicants from here and I am storing it in my own format. Okay, say tomorrow work day corrupt got corrupted or something. Okay. Okay. So uh, what I will do is I will be putting back the information that I have in my in my on my end, for example, a glitch. Like I'm just trying to understand the exact situation. So what has happened? There's something happened to work. They got corrupted. That uh, the data got corrupted. Okay, let's say the data got corrupted. Okay, yeah, we'll take that example. Okay, so the data got corrupted. Now I I have the copy of all the because I got got applicants, uh, get job family, job family group, all these APIs Correct. are called. And I have all the information with me. Get worker documents. Blah blah blah. Okay. Yes, now yes. I want to uh, because it's got corrupted. I'm going to put them back. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Makes so sense. So now when I put them back, first I have to do it in that order. Is it like first I have to put job family, then I have to put job family group. You know what? You know yeah. You know what? Again, when I when you're saying it may get corrupted. Okay. So um, this job family, job family group. Okay. When I'm talking about hiring an employee. Okay. Let's say mm -hmm. I, before hiring you. Okay, mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. hiring you in the system, all these things that is job family, job family group, compensation, great compensation package should already there be there in place. Okay, it should already be created so that I just assign that to you. Okay, mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. not like I'm creating uh, like I'm having a while I'm hiring you, I'm assigning a vice president role for you. That role yeah. should be side work there. So I should okay. know the dependency. Like when I create, when I may, uh, hire a worker. 
or whatever right like when i create hire worker which means yes. i'm going to create the record first time now in worker at uh, at that time all the dependencies like uh, for example if i go to that xml uh, then um, where is that one second okay so here for uh, wherever the wid comes right i should already have a goal reference id uh, yeah this reference id is already stored in work means already created not stored basically i'll say i'll already created So I know, I, but the thing is now I am actually trying to. I am trying to see if it's already data. created, then no problems, right? Yes. But suppose yeah. if that record was also this goal thingy was also corrupted. Right? Create the goal then first. Not yeah, you have to. Then, first. Yeah, exactly. So I have to create a goal with this work. Uh, how would I, I can create with this ID? No, no, no. You don't create with this ID. You create it, and Workday gives a unique ID. this is what you are getting it when you are extra get, giving a get call okay this is not your you are signing okay this is what workday has assigned to a goal that has been created a goal that with this name has been created in workday someone some other guy must have created this role okay sorry goal this goal when it was when the guy was creating this workday assigned a unique id workday id to it which is this id okay mm -hmm. and when you are Uh, giving a get call or when you giving a get call so this is what being extracted a bid is being extracted mm. so understood so this is not being assigned by you this is being assigned by worker got it so in my case right so when i'm putting back this worker i have to first get i don't know how to get the goal but i have to figure that out get the goal so for this when you are in inserting data you don't have to give bid basically you have to give the reference id when i say reference id that goal reference id i'm talking about okay that bid is not important much but the goal reference id is important let's say uh bid won't be a mandatory one but this goal reference id would be a mandatory one. that's so a below all, one in all the cases it's like that wid is always generated when you're creating something in workday yes for an example if you're even if you're creating a employee a workday id would be generated for an employee okay meaning 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 if i'll just say this guy and logan mcneil okay if you go to her actions and if uh, i'll just uh, what am i yeah so if i just view ids so this is the workday id for this person so like Employ this i can see in every object workday id yeah everything everything that is there inside workday will have a workday id this this person has an employee id of course okay which is a reference id okay similar to what we were calling about goal reference id so goal reference id is nothing but this id okay which is employee id workday id is a unique identifier given by workday to that huh. instance so in my That's case right so in my case for, see uh, what i have done i have done a backup of uh, the employees okay and then yeah. the whatever the job this that all the objects uh, i have backed up with a particular work the id okay right. mm -hmm. now somehow it corrupted so i'm putting it back now when i put it put it back i can't use the same work the id because you said it's a generated one so i only give the name and it will generate a new id again saying that you should have you should know the web service which will be able to create a goal reference sorry ah, like correct exactly. correct so 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 but then my backed up data is actually is different from the other one because of the fact that the workday ids are now very different i have to actually back it up again with the new back workday id uh, right the case that you're taking that it's a very rare case in which the server might get corrupted but that mm -hmm. generally does not happen because workday has multiple copies but yes that will be the answer to your question would be yes generally the workday id won't be uh erased but uh, but okay. yes yeah, okay. or the okay. or the other option is um using the workday id for that particular resource i can query and see if that exists if that exists then i can use the same workday id when i insert a worker right exactly huh and exactly how you can see that you can just uh, uh, you can just write something like this wid that is workday huh. id colon this colon oh. the workday id and you will See exactly can what is this? Can you put the goal? Can you put the word the goals thingy? I want to know whether it. 
Yeah, so that's sure. why I can find uh, in which page it belongs to, right? Yeah. So if oh, uh, where was that? Third, page? third one. The third one. Yeah. Okay. So if I take about so this, take the goal in reference or whatever. Yeah. So if I copy this, uh, just a minute. If I copy this, if I take it over here, sorry. So this is the goal that someone has created, okay? And someone has created for a person, Alex Gracia, I guess. Hmm. And uh, this is an, how do you see this ID assigned to this person? Uh, just go to that. integration IDs, UIDs. This is the same ID that you no, 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 this is not no, the same. The, yeah, this is, this the, is the employee ID. thing. Yeah, employee ID. But if you talk about this goal ID, this is that ID. Yeah, but the, this goals ID, I cannot see from this page, right? No. Okay, no. that I can only do the search and it will bring up whatever ID it is. Yes, yes. Okay. And if as long as this ID exists, uh, hold on, I want to go to the Alex Garcia, right? Yeah. Am I am I looking at Alex Garcia? I don't think so. I'm looking at Logan McNeil, I think. Is it Garcia? Uh, we have to check once where we are looking at. Maybe it's the second uh, employee. Okay, that hold on. The worker with... data, right? I think if I look at worker data. Mm. No, I'm looking at LMC meal. Why this guy came up there then? Let me see. Let me see where this is associated with. Now, this goal is being assigned. Let me see the history. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Logan may be involved somewhere here in making this goal or something. Something should be there on this person. I have to see this. Actually, I have to go to his careers. Um, jobs. That is true. Logan must be involved somewhere here. Okay, That's one why. second. Uh, let me, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, this one person up to five external loads. Logan, Logan has done this. Oh, Logan, so Logan, has, Logan, Logan is the one who assigned the goal. Logan yeah. has done this. That's why it is showing for Logan. One second. Logan. One second. One second. I'll see under what is the, uh, uh, which one was this WID? I forgot. Uh, goal reference, right? So, so, so whatever goals he created, may, maybe this was created by him. That's why it came here. Came here. Is it? Yeah, exactly. This is the goals that Logan has created for that employee, and hence it is coming there. Correct. Okay. So what? So if I uh, for if I don't um, okay, let's assume that these all these IDs and all existed. Okay, nothing mm -hmm. happened to that. Just that Logan's record got corrupted. Let's assume. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh -huh. I can pretty much take everything from this put from this get request and put it in that put or create higher higher or whatever, right? Yes. Uh, and I, let's assume this WID and everything is there. Okay, only Logan got corrupted, so I can pretty much do that and it'll work. Uh, I have to. Uh, it should work, but we have to check. It should work, we have to check, okay? Mm. Because I've not done this, I may have to check. Okay, so how do I, um, so like for example, I can do this, right? If I go and rename uh, in Workday, if I rename, like say, let's say Alex Garcia, okay? If I rename Alex Garcia to uh, Alex Garcia 1, 
Okay. Okay, which means that if efficiently, I mean, effectively, the Alex Garcia got deleted from Workday. Hmm. You, if you will do that, okay, if you will do that, uh, when you are doing a get, Alex Garcia, you may you may get an error. Okay, Workday will give you an error that this goal is either not found or you are trying to do something which is not existing in Workday. It will definitely give you a Workday validation error. Why? You are saying Alex Garcia is not existing in Workday, right? That's what you are saying. No, no. I I now renamed Alex Garcia. Okay. Uh huh. I don't know. Uh, maybe is there a way to do that? Like for example, Alex Garcia, right? Or let's say I can go delete this guy, right? You cannot delete this guy. You can terminate this guy. Uh, you can uh, cannot delete. You cannot delete this guy from the tenant. Well, actually, can... can I create a worker? If, let's and then we can delete him, right? Can I? I create... Yeah. One thing, uh, Chitra. Wow. Uh, the session i have to take a session of zarantech they are the guys are pinging me actually sorry can you repeat that the uh, means uh, our session was for an r there is another student for other session that that is waiting for me just one oh, there's only to, one hour i thought every every week we should do no i don't know that's, that's what they are today they have assigned one hour only that's what i i just they are pinging me to join another session oh, oh. okay fine yeah okay um okay so uh, just just a quick thing so that means yeah. am i in the right uh, if it just for staffing am i am i on the right um, path yeah you are on the right path you are on the right path okay so the only yeah. thing i need to worry about then this this next week what i'll do is i will try to put a higher employee and i will try to delete him uh and uh, and before deleting i'll do get employee of the new employee i created and i will try to do that using web service putting him back correct okay yeah okay. that should exactly. work right exactly yes okay yeah thank you next no week problem. we can meet yeah thanks sure sure bye thank you for attending the session I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also feel free to ask your questions in the comment section below and we will reply to them at the earliest.